Hey guys, it's Iman. I'm back again, and now this time with a review on Captain America Civil War. I just want to say I loved the movie. And yes, I'm wearing this like thrift store Spider-Man costume <laughs> thing that I kind of made with the things and the little ghetto uh, eye mask. And I know it's not like Spider-Man, but this is just because I, I was just so happy to have Spider-Man in this movie. And this is paying homage to him and that character. And so don't mind the get up basically is what I'm trying to say. It's <laughs> so I just, I was debating on that too, if I was just gonna do a review or a spoiler review. I, I don't know, I feel like, let's just do a spoiler review. Um, so basically we start out again with, we see Bucky um, and we see kind of where his beginnings are. There are words that will make him kind of be uh, compliant and as he, he says, I'm ready to comply, basically. After they say these key words, it's, it puts him back in that mind control setting. We start with Captain America. We've got Black Widow back again, Scarlet Witch, and the Falcon. And we're, they're in Wakanda, Africa. Um, basically, it looks like Crossbones, who was in Winter Soldier, um, as like a good guy and then he became like the bad guy or whatever. He he was the 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 main the, the bad guy at that moment in the beginning of the movie and um he was telling uh America that he saw Bucky and that Bucky remem remembers him. So it was interesting to see that and that kind of caught up caught Captain America off guard and then we see that he's got a bomb and so Scarlet Witch comes out and she uses her powers. Yeah, her little, <laughs> her powers like that. And she lifts him up and he blows up into the building, which I know she was not trying to do. And people died, people were injured. And so that's where it starts off. And so we see now, okay, so this is why they're going to have like this the governments kind of step in and say, look, something needs to be done. So skipping forward, we are, you know, we see Iron Man, we see uh, Tony Stark with the, the gang, um, and the headquarters with, with the government officials and all, all of that. The, Sokovia and what, what happened in New York and, you know, with all the other last movies, um, Age of Ultron and, and the Avengers, and we see how even though they are helping people, they're also sometimes causing death. I think Tony Stark feels more responsible, especially because of that lady who told him, you know, you killed my son, it's your fault, I blame you. And from Age of Ultron to the, actually to the Avengers, after the Avengers happened, um, when he went and he pretty, pretty much he saved the world, I think his mindset kind of changed a bit. Um, so he's definitely feeling guilty. So he's all for this new, um, the, uh, the Accords, I think it was called, um, where the 117 different countries signed this paperwork. Or, and so basically that's what ends up dividing the, the group, our, our, our friends. Anyways, I, so yeah, I don't know if we pronounce it T'Challa, but I'm gonna do that. So we, we meet him, that's when we, we get the introduction to his character and, and his father. And so they're speaking at the UN and we see that there's obviously the bomb goes off and his father dies. And then we we realize, okay, this is why he's, obviously in all the previews that they've been showing that we see Black Panthers going to ch chase Winter Soldier was because they blamed the, um, the death and the bombing on on Bucky Barnes. So he was out for revenge. Just a little side note though that I thought was really interesting was that um, I guess Kate, and I think, I don't know if her name is Sharon? Sharon Carter? I, I don't know too much uh, about that backstory, but I, I, it was interesting to know that she was Peggy's um, niece. 
and I did not know that at all, so that was really interesting. And then we see Black Panther finally come out as as himself, and we get this amazing chase and fight scene, which I was like, it was so awesome to see him like, like I don't know, he's Chadwick Boseman. I'm just gonna say this, he was really great as the Black Panther. Like they did a great casting job with him. So I'm extremely excited because I know that they're going to make his uh, a Black Panther film. So I'm so excited to see what he's what they're going to show with his story because like I, you know, I just started doing my research on Black Panther. I had known about him. I knew that him and Storm, I think they were together or they were married. I'm not I don't know. I, I I'm I'm a little rusty on that. It's been a while since I've read about that. Um but that's all I kind of knew. But I started to do my homework and I, you know, he's like one of the smartest um, act characters in the Marvel Universe and, you know, he, one of the best fighters and all of that. And so it was just really awesome to see a new character with like, who's <laughs> pretty much stronger than almost everybody else in our group, pretty much. And I understand at that point why he's trying to go after Bucky because he thinks Bucky killed his dad. So then we see a little bit of um, an interesting dynamic between Vision and Scarlet Witch. And there seems to be some sort of um, romance, you know, maybe they like each other. So they might touch on that in an another movie, I'm assuming. But I like them together, actually. That was, that was cute, I thought. It was kind of a cool little thing they added in. The chase scene with Black Panther, Winter Soldier, and Captain America, they ended up getting caught. And so they put Winter Soldier into like prison that he can't get out of. I mean, he was strapped in, he can't get out. Um, and then we see Zemo, and I, <laughs> I always think Frederick Zoller from Inglorious Bastards, which is one of my favorite movies. And so I, I like that actor, Daniel, Daniel Brohl, Brohl, I don't, I don't know how to say his last name, but I, he's a great actor, played uh, Lauda in Rush and a, a lot of other movies I know, but I just loved his character, Zoller in Inglorious Bastards. And so he is the bad guy in this, in this movie. And, um, he's obviously, he finds these, I mean, the, the key words to make him Winter Soldier compliant to what he wants him to do myself because I know going in I was for team Iron Man and I'm, I gotta say guys I left being on team team cap I just you know I'm always for the underdog and Bucky was innocent so when I found out that he was innocent and he was just you know framed I was like okay no we don't I I, I don't want the, them to get killed and they're just trying to help out and it's very interesting, like, what this movie does to you. Even though it's, like, this superhero film and, like, it's fun and exciting and action. But there's also a lot of emotional parts in this movie that make you, like, really kind of sit back and think. And you're kind of battling in your own mind, like, it, it, almost it, even by the end of it, it was, like, what is good and what is evil? You know, like, there was, like, this there wasn't like a, a solid of like, you no, know, this guy is actually a horrible, evil villain or, you know, and then like that Cap Captain America was wrong or Iron Man was wrong. Like everyone was right. Even Zemo in his thought process of what he was, why, for why he was doing what he was doing. Like I understood it. We will talk about coming up soon, but I just liked that they kind of made you really think throughout the movie and choosing sides throughout and being like, you know, it makes sense what Iron Man is saying, but but it also makes sense what with 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 what's going on with Bucky. So I guess I you know I'm kind of kind of going all over the place here, but I just want to touch on this too. We get Clint back, Hawkeye, Hawkeye's back again, and he's one of my favorites. And you know he helps Scarlet Witch escape, and in that in that scene where the the Vision is pretty much like, no, you can't go. 
um, it was interesting to see like how strong she was, like her power. I didn't know that she was actually that strong. So just she kind of like put him down, like super far down into <laughs> the floor, like just going down into the earth almost. Um, and that was interesting to see. So she she's very, very powerful, obviously. And so <laughs> we go, we get a, a setting to Queens, New York, and we see that this these little late this little legs no these legs walking in the hall, and I'm just like, because I didn't know who it was at first, and I was like, oh, Sp is that Spider Man? And I like you know saw that in the theater, like oh my god, like a little like a little kid, I it was just so exciting to see see him and like and it just Tom Holland is so cute and he did. I, I don't know. I love Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I, I loved Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. I just love Spider-Man and I was happy with whatever they've ever given us. And I know people have complained about how corny the, the, the first um, Spider-Mans are with Tobey Maguire, but I enjoyed them and I liked them and I'm not afraid to say it. With that being said, this Spider-Man has a lot of potential and you know, he did a great job like just being like this cute kid and like very smart and like funny and sarcastic and just you know like that Peter Parker that you want and he was all of that and he did a great job. So we get this, the big fight scene which this has got to be one of the best fight scenes in any movie I've, I've seen and I'm trying to think because I've I'm probably going to say this many, many, many times over, but this really was, you You had everybody there. You had the Vision, you had Spider-Man, you had Ant-Man, you had Black Widow, Hawkeye, um, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther was there. We had, God, Captain America, Iron Man, War Machine, the Falcon, <laughs> and just like... I mean, everybody, everybody was there. It was exciting. We, you know, we, we when Spider-Man comes out and just, you know, it's just that everything gets started. A Winter Soldier too was there. Of course, Bucky, my little love. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was awesome. Awesome, just super, just action. When Ant-Man, you know, gets really big, that was cool to see. And just little, the little like quips that Spider-Man had of talk, you know, he's just talking while he's fighting with everyone because he's just a fan <laughs> of everybody. It was so cute. And it was just awesome. Like, I was really, yeah, oh God, it was just one of the, one of the greatest scenes. You just, as a kid, you know, you grow up watching or reading the comics, watching the cartoon and imagining all of these things of, oh, well, what if they do do this? And then when the Avengers came out for me, I was like, oh my God, everyone's gonna be together. Like, you know, it's just, it was so exciting. And so to just see everyone just kind of battling was crazy to me. Like, I just was, so, it was so good. They did such a good job with, with all the fight scenes and this, especially this scene in particular. So yes, awesome job on that. I own this in the previews that War Machine gets hit. Rhodey gets hit, I guess, by Vision, and you know they show that, and we think, oh, why are they showing a death in in the in the preview, in the trailers? And honestly, even though I had seen that multiple times, and I knew that was going to happen when he got hit, and when both um, Sam and and Tony Stark are flying down to grab him. I really thought, oh my god, he's actually dead. He's gonna die. Like, my heart was like, oh, like, I don't know. They, that was a really powerful scene in the way he just hit the floor. Um, that was, that was intense, actually. And I really thought he died. And, um, and then, you know, he, I, Tony Stark shoots, um, Sam. And I was like, oh my god, did he kill him too? So that was, that was, that was in, uh, interesting. Um, Winter Soldier and Captain America, they were they were heading to Serbia to find Zemo, 
which we find out he was in Sokovia as like the task force or something over there. And so that was kind of making more sense to, as to maybe why he was doing what he was doing. Uh, then we see that Black Panther was following them, and which was which was really cool to see. And we, then we see that Scarlet Witch and, and Clint, Hawkeye, and Falcon were basically in this prison that was underwater, which was really creepy. Iron Man sees that and he's like, okay, well, this wasn't part of the plan. This this is not okay. And like, he's obviously feeling guilty. Iron Man has gotten information that Bucky was, was framed. It wasn't him and it was Zemo who did everything. So we see Bucky and, and Steve and they're looking at all of the super soldiers because they're thinking that he's going there to wake them up. But we see that they're all shot. They've all got shot in the head. And Iron Man is there too at that point. And then we hear Zemo speaking and he's saying, what, you know, I, I was going to kill all of them. I'm not, I was never going to wake them up. And basically, like, that was his plan for them, too, for, for, the, for Captain America and the group. We then see that Zemo shows a video and he basically sh shows them that the, the car in the beginning of the movie where Winter Soldier had, had um, made crash was... Tony Stark's father and mother and he ends up killing his parents and that was a hard scene to watch actually and like I it was just very intense to see that and because we know that that had a, had a huge effect on Tony and that's something that he has been trying to work through and he's had a whole lot of regret or some you know as they showed in the beginning and Tony was like he was gonna go and get him. Like he, it, at that point, it didn't matter. You know, he saw his parents being killed by the hands of this person who's right next to him, and so Captain America, of course, tells him you know, he was under mind control. It wasn't him. It wasn't his fault. But it doesn't matter at this point because he's Tony sees is he's seeing red. Nothing matters. So then we get the fight scene. Everyone's fighting, and we see that. The, the, like the iconic scene in, in the trailer where Bucky picks up the the shield and, and hits, you know, Stark and throws it to Captain America. And that, that scene, that was so cool to see. Like them passing the shield back and forth and beating uh, Iron Man up and Iron Man hitting him and then gets his arm cut off and he's just badly injured. He's hurt. He's on the ground. And Captain America... <laughs> is just, he gives his iconic thing of I can do this all day, and that was so cool, that was cool again. Throw, throw back to when he, Cap, uh, Captain America, the original Avenger. And so we see, they're literally, it looks like going to almost fight to the death. And then we see Zemo is outside, and we see T'Challa with Zemo, and he's talking to him, and he says, you know, this was your whole plan to see them fight and kill each other off like this. And he said, you know, there was that was the only way to to get them. That there were super beings with superpowers, and so the only way to to get them is to have them fight within themselves. And we can we that's when we hear about his story of how his son and his wife and father all died in Sokovia because of Iron Man and because of the group. And this was a revenge story for him. So it was very interesting that he was out for revenge. And when I heard that, you know, his son died and his, his family, my heart actually sunk for him for a moment there. I was just thinking like that. I can understand, I guess, his point of view and why he'd like to, he wanted to do that. And then why, then we see, you know, you know Black Panther thinking too of like, he was out for revenge too because he thought his father was killed by Bucky and he wanted to just kill Bucky. So, and then we see Tony is out for revenge too. And it was very interesting to see that and to feel like really understanding everybody's point of view, even the villain's point of view was very interesting and very, it was very well done how they, they did that. And to kind of make you feel sorry for the villain and to feel sorry for each and every character in that moment. 
And then we see that Zemo says he apologized. He didn't mean to kill his father. Um, and so it kind of brought this like humanity to his character. So it was very interesting. Um, then we see he tries to kill himself and <laughs> T'Challa's like, no, we're not done with you yet. Basically, you're not going to get off that easy. Then see that Captain America pretty much bashes in Stark's chest and disables his his uh his suit so in the end of the movie and i'm trying to look back i'm trying to think back to it i'm gonna i am gonna watch this movie again um because I'm, I'm like i guess they left it off with captain america i mean everyone was alive but in captain america and winter soldier are walking away and stark tells Captain America, that, that's not your shield, like, you know, and then he drops it. So I don't know if that's symbolic for he's not going to be Captain America. You know, I don't know since he's dropped his, that's his symbol in a way. And they left on not the best terms. This is what I'm remembering. That's what I'm remembering. I don't know if that's true. And I'm like I said, in, in the comments, please comment and say something about that, like, if I'm, if I'm wrong about the ending and and so we see them you know just kind of walk away and I think then we see with, um, Martin Freeman's character with Zemo and he's locked up now and obviously this is for in, an importance because I was looking it up and it sounds like that this is going to be he's a, 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 a big villain in, in the Marvel Universe like there was Red Skull and he's going to be kind of like to that level. So I don't know if there's going to be another movie or, you know, something like that. And that's why they're preserving or keeping him there. So we will see, I guess. Um, I honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about this movie. I, I enjoyed it completely. I think they did a, a wonderful job, a great job. My favorite parts, I loved all the scenes with Black Panther. I love him. I love his character. I love Chadwick Boseman's portrayal of his character. And I'm definitely going to be going on a binge watching of all of his movies because I have not seen his movies. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, I really want to see his work now. And, you know, he did a great job. Spider-Man scenes were so good. It was just like, I felt like a little kid. Honestly, I felt like a little, little kid. And obviously I'm excited with my little silly get up. <laughs> and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. My friends enjoyed it. And it's just such a great movie. Such a great movie. And then, well, and we got the ending to it, which was after the credits. The first ending was we see uh, Winter Soldier is going back and he's going to be frozen and he's in Wakanda with the Black Panther and he's going to, Black Panther is going to be protecting him and he's basically like, let them come here, you know, and so that's so cool and so I'm just excited to see where they go with that too and it was very interesting I wanted to point this out too because there's a scene where um, T'Challa is walking in and they're going to be leaving and Black Widow is in his way and then there's this beautiful African woman um, and she's just like, move. <laughs> I don't know why that just, because when me and my friends saw her, we we're just like, whoa, like she's gorgeous and she, but she looks so powerful and fierce and so that's why I want to look into this, the Black Panther story and just be like, I wonder if she's a fighter herself, you know, if he has like a bunch of different people like that are in his land that fight, which probably he does. I just, I need to research more and look into it. But it was just so funny because I honestly, I think she could have take, taken Black Widow just by the way she talked. I, <laughs> that was cool to see. And, and then we were left off with Spider-Man at the end, ending credits. And so... It's exciting and we're, you know, we'll see him and hit Tom Holland as Spider-Man in his movie. So anyways, this is a super, super, super long and I'm going to try cutting all of this so it's not th that long. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. 
I, I'm a, I geeked out. I was, I'm a little nerd. And I, I love, I love Marvel. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have anything to comment down below, like opinions on the movie, I want to know what you guys thought about this movie. So leave your opinions down below and thanks for watching. Bye.